Hey everybody, let's darkness two up some more. So we're right outside the brothel, but before we do that, there's actually a collectible right here at the start. Some more relics for Johnny to tell us about. And as I mentioned last update, from here on out, once I collect it and the first opportune moment, I'm going to play Johnny back at the apartment talking about it. Uh, I, I gotta say I'm a little disappointed. I've waited years to see one of these. Seven years, if we're being honest, and it is not living up to my expectations. You gotta understand, only 12 of these masks were ever made. This, this is probably the only one still in existence. That's already enough to mark this thing as priceless. But it doesn't stop there. No, sir. These masks were forged by a group of monks known as the Brothers of Men. And we're not talking about run-of-the-mill pacifist monks. The Brothers of Men were hardcore, ass-kicking warrior priests. It was in China, after the fall of the Han Dynasty. The darkness was living in Shu Han, feeding off the War of the Three Kingdoms. Legend suggests that the Angelus appeared to the monks, warning them of the darkness. It doesn't say why the Angelus didn't fight the darkness herself, but it doesn't matter, because the monks, they handled themselves just fine. The monks single-handedly defeated the darkness, using nothing but their fists and these masks. It's said that if a mask caught even the smallest light from the dimmest candle, it would be reflected back 100-fold. The monks were basically walking sunbeams, which sounds goofy when I say it like that, but still. I'm just disappointed to see its magic is long gone. Now, killed to see it in action. Well, not kill, since I guess I'd have to use it on you, and that would be just... awkward. So one thing I wanted to mention about what this update's going to be is it's probably about a quarter of talking and walking around, and the rest of it's going to be shooting dudes in the face. But most of that stuff's here in the very beginning. We can't interact with our driver there. So, but we got an incidental piece of conversation here that if you move too far forward, What'll end up happening is, is that it'll be interrupted by what the guys say after. What about the one guy on the horse? Yeah, I heard about that last week. No, 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 trust me. This is the good one. Not like I got a choice. Go ahead. Okay, so listen to this one. They have the Gorbachev, Rani Reagan, and Tito They're in the airplane. And, uh... Whoa, Tito, what the fuck is the Jackson 5 doing on a plane with Reagan and Gorbachev? No, man, Tito. The president from Yugoslavia. Are you gonna let me finish this funny or what? Okay. So Gorbachev, Ronnie Reagan, and Tito, okay, they in the airplane. So they fly for a little bit, and then uh, Gorbachev, he stick his hand out the window. He says to the two guys, oh man, now we're flying over, over Russia. And they do, they look at him, and they say, how you know? He goes, because my hands had just feel the top of the Kremlin. They're like, oh man, that's something, that's something. So the fly, the flying the plane a little bit more, and then Ronnie Reagan, he stick his hand out the window. And then he goes, ah, now we fly above USA, baby. And they and they say to him, how you know you fly over USA? He goes, because my hand had touched the top of Empire State Building. They're like, oh, wow, man, wow. So then they fly a little bit more. And Tito, he stick his hand out the window. He goes, ah, now we fly over Yugoslavia. And they're looking at him. He say, how you know you fly over Yugoslavia? He goes, they took my watch. <laughs> well, I only got one question for you. Why the fuck would they go to Yugoslavia? Ah, forget about it. You don't know what's funny. Here we go. Hey, don't I know you? I don't think so, Chief. I'm sure you'd remember. I gotta frisk you, tough guy. Yes, that's good. Arms to your sides. This is a friendly joint. No trouble. You packing tonight, hot shot? Who, me? And spoil a party? Yes. Head inside. Have a nice evening. Through this door, pal. Most of the people in this area aren't going to be saying anything more than once, so there's that. I can make all your dreams come true. Ugh. You 
look when you wake now, don't you? Get back to work. <laughs> that guy looks like he's straight from the 70s. Like that shirt. <laughs> well, hello, handsome. Where did that come from? Hi there, baby. You looking for a good time? You must be Venus. I'm Jackie, Vinny's friend. Well, any friend of Vinny's is a friend of mine. Why don't you come up to my room? I think I could arrange something special just for you. Follow me, handsome. Well, the darkness is enjoying himself, at least. By the way, I'm walking slow. Not The game's not making me walk this slow. Okay, listen. There's no cameras in these elevators, but we ain't got much time. I stash Vinny's gun in my room. These new guys find it, they'll kill me. They don't play games, Jackie. These are some messed up fucking people. They all tweaked out and shit. Just promise if anything goes wrong, you won't wrap me out. So you gotta get up to the third floor quickly. Are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got it. Come on, it's this way. I feel let's see some creepy stuff. Like that. Suffering. Nothing for you through here, buddy. I love this little bit of animation here. Ah, that's wonderful. Um. Look, all I'm saying is we go to management and air our concerns. Have you seen this new guy, the hunchback guy? You're gonna ask that fucking abomination for a raise? I figured you could go ask him. You're better at that shit than I am. Just keep your fucking eyes on the job. I come back up here, you're anywhere but right here where you're supposed to be. You can go upstairs and explain. What, what are you talking about? I had to take a leak. What are we waiting for? Now, uh, that guy in the room talking to the prostitute, I thought it was those two guys there. So that's why I just kind of stood there for a while while nothing was really oh, wow. happening. So. There you go. No, I don't think there's any more doors for the rest of this. Just noises. Got something for you. <laughs> they closed off the top two floors. We figured they was just shooting pornos up there. But then Chantel went to go see that hunchback guy on the third floor now we ain't seen her in a month here this is from Vinny. nice now you go find these assholes and make sure you give them one for me shoot quasimodo upside the head and put us all out of his fucking misery welcome to combat now you can tell there's kind of lights fucking everywhere here this is mainly because you know it would make sense this place to be lit but the only ones you got to worry about is that one to the left. That's that's yellow, and I did not mean for an execution to be the very first thing that happened. But I needed to slice that guy with a shield, so that happened. Ah, whipping baseball bats of dudes, always fun. You can see it kind of just knocks them out and makes them ragdoll, but uh, in the end doesn't kill them. Trying to be a little stealthy, then I kind of realize, hey, there's lots of dudes. So gun channeling is something we're going to be seeing a lot more of than in previous updates, because I believe I picked it either up in the last update or the one before. That's been a little while. So... The nice thing about gun channeling is the fact that it kind of does a ton of damage. Pretty much what ends up happening is, is it doesn't like one hit kill guys, but it like quadruples the amount of damage an individual shot does. 
couple that with some of your high damage dealing guns that you can pick up in the game, you've got something that's pretty powerful. Like slap it on an SMG, dual SMGs, and you're just murdering people. It's gonna be very useful later on in the game. Because right now we're just fighting mob dudes in tracksuits. Oh, there's the guy with the 70 shirt. Hi, oh, dude in 70 shirt. You will be missed. Not really. I was lying. So the game's about to mix it up on us here in a few, but uh, this section here, it takes a little bit to make the game continue. It's not! Because See, I can't really do anything. I can't grab that. Can't shoot the light. The game's not letting me do anything. You have to kind of move towards it, like this, to activate the next section. Can you get up to that vent? Right, I'm gonna need your help here. Close your peepers a tick. Wait. What did you do? Car, need no track in it. Uh, now you see what I see, don't you? <laughs> How's the view? Short. Let's get moving. You hear that sound, brothers? It's the cry of the beast drawing ever closer. The darkness loves us. This I know. Yeah. It tells us so. Creepy. The relic will hold it. Once we have it, the world will be ours. Brother Victor was the one who found it. Yes, it was lost. But Brother Victor searched for years. He scoured the world. It belongs with us. What's he on about? Open this door, and I'll ask him myself. I guess the darkness isn't too happy. Sin produces dark essence. Dark essence gives us power. And sin is profitable. Yeah, pretty sure that's bad. Yeah. Something's not right here. And that's all for the Crawl Space Conversations, TM. Playing as a Darkling is pretty interesting. You probably only do it maybe four times in the game in total. Leave this place. Finally the end date of your memories. Wait a minute. Get closer to him. I want to see what I'm up against. With pleasure. So yeah, Darkling, four times, kind of neat all around, and as the game now tells us, we cannot survive in the light. Light is pretty much a death sentence, um, it kills you very, very, very quickly, about as quickly as being shot in the face, um, so you pretty much want to avoid combat. There is an achievement and a trophy for beating, uh, for killing 25 dudes of executions as the Darkling. View the section right there. You could probably think kill both of them. But let's be stealthy instead. You need eyes to have vision. That's why we're all blind. What a stupid explanation there. And I make a mistake here. Oops. So you hear how the audio kind of subdues when you get killed. For some reason, my game glitched out and did this for another couple of minutes. So I had to restart checkpoint. So yeah, you can also run as the Darkling. There, that fuse box on the wall. I want the gun. Give me the gun. 
fucker. Hey, this effect looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? So, when I recorded this, it had been a little while since I played The Darkness, so I kind of forgot for a minute there that I had to do this. Shit happens. Back again. Miss me? Come on, let's find the rest of these assholes. Now, I make a few mistakes in here because I forget how certain things work in this game. Like, I hit Y there, which is gun channeling, because I thought it would drop the shield. Something I don't really like the game does is that you can't get rid of the shield. Don't throw it. Just like Swifty said, these guys know everything about me. Go no further. And then Jackie just turns around and leaves. But no, we got some new weapons here. We have the Sawed Off, which is a decent shotgun, but even better, we have Ump. The UMP is a pretty awesome gun in this game. It's probably one of the better dual wield based weapons. And we'll hopefully have a new one very shortly. It's also very, very accurate. But take a look at let's take a look at our talent shrine before we move on. And what we got in here, we don't have enough essence to level up just quite yet. But as you can see here, there's not a ton of things for us to really buy that are active abilities. Um, there's only maybe one more passive that I want to pick up after the one we're going to get in this video. Then after that, it's going to be entirely working towards getting um, actives so that things are different. Actives, you know, like gun channeling. We didn't have to do a door breach for that. Huh. You see, I'm talking about the UMP is an awesome weapon to have, and there is a collectible to our left. Which we'll play in a bit once this combat is over with. I'm going for See how quickly I killed that guy with the uh, UMP there. And, uh, it gave me the option for a second there. Let's do a wheel these. After we do that, of course. That just looks ridiculous and awesome. I know where you're hiding. You can see even when you're dual wielding the UMPs, they're actually pretty damn accurate and they do a really good job of actually killing people. So we're going to be using it for quite a bit here. Now that this area is clear, let's listen to an audio log. Or relic, sorry. <laughs> after, oh yeah, after we do the relics first, of course. So what we're picking up here is going to, as I said, going to be one of our very last passives, which is going to be an increase in SMGs when we're in the dark. Very useful. You know, the darkness didn't come from the Cradle of Civilization. The darkness came from nowhere. Which, if you follow the Rothfusian or Rothfushian, I say Rothfushian, okay? Theory, it means the darkness also comes from everywhere. Numerous cultures throughout history make reference to the darkness, even though most of them had never encountered it. For example, take a look at this Aztec totem. An anthropologist would identify it as the key of Mictlan. Mictlan, of course, being the Aztec underworld. This is wrong on an absurd number of levels. Mictlan was a battleground that fed on the souls of the dead. Man, woman, child, didn't matter. They went on to their death prepared to fight, knowing that Mictlan awaited them. Sound familiar to you? It should! It's the darkness! This is just one example out of thousands. Every person since the dawn of time has known instinctually the darkness was waiting. It's why so many of us have a natural fear of the dark. To me, that says something, and I don't think you're gonna like it. Part of me believes the darkness is inside all of us. Just a small bit of essence. It's a part of us. Maybe the darkness came from us. Maybe it's an extension of who we are. I don't know! But I do know that if any of those crazy ideas are even partly true, then the darkness isn't going anywhere, no matter what we do. And that is the last relic for this video. You can see here in the dark, we actually have quite a bit of ammo for our uh, SMGs and our clips, which is very useful, especially since you're gonna be want to be using them for the most part through the game. Pistols do a great job, but these are a little better. There's a lot of shields. It has to do with the fact that the upcoming section is 
actually pretty tough on a few of my test recordings. Oops. I actually probably died two or three times while doing this. Which is kind of shocking to me. And hey, this one is sideways. And I still try to swipe up. So here we go, this part here is fairly tough. A lot of enemies. A lot of things to do. Yeah, that's the problem is that right now our gun channeling doesn't last for very long. So while it does a really, really good job when it works, we just don't have it very long. Now we have another new gun here kicking around here, which is a revolver, which we're only going to be using for a little bit, the Cobra. Cobra is incredibly powerful when you put gun channeling on it, so as of right now, we'll see. Not a lot of ammo, not very deadly, so I'd rather not use it that much. Especially when you're being swarmed with enemies, it's not a very good weapon to be using. That guy's new. You could definitely see there, that's when gun channeling with that really worked out well in my favor. There we go. Back to what we want to have. But there's a fun little throwable object here that we're going to be using. <laughs> oh, missed with that one. Well, time to scrap this recording. Yeah, you can definitely see this was probably the first legitimate challenge combat-wise the game has really thrown at us. Lots of light, lots of enemies with fairly nice weapons. And uh, we're still not exactly super powerful here. Um, I'm kind of diversifying a lot, which is what's making this a little harder. So hopefully in the near future we'll be a little more powerful so that we can start straight up murdering these fools. I have no idea what the Darkling was just doing there. That was weird and creepy. You're losing it, Jackie! So predictable. Burn Prepare the siphon. 